those of you spending time outside this summer, you may want to check yourself and your pets very carefully for some unwanted guests. News 5's Johnny Nordello spoke with health officials about ways you can prevent Lyme disease from ticks. According to the Tennessee Department of Health, cases of Lyme disease in our region are increasing every year, especially during the summer months. Anywhere where there is um, foliage or vegetation that's overhanging, there could potentially be a tick attached to it. Jamie Swift is the Chief Infection Prevention Officer for Ballot Health. She tells me everyone is at risk for getting the disease. Anybody can be affected by Lyme disease, so anybody that has a tick bite or if they've been outside and, and did never find a tick but start having these symptoms, it's really important to be aware that Lyme disease is in this region and certainly is a risk. The signs to look out for if you've been bitten. Fever, headache, fatigue, body aches, anything like that, even without a rash, it's really important to share with your provider that tick history. If infected, Swift says don't wait to get help. It's a bacterial disease. Lyme disease can be treated. The, the issue is when Lyme disease goes undetected and can cause long-term problems. Some of those long-term problems include joint and heart issues, so prevention is the most important step you can take. Try to think about how you're protecting your skin. Can you wear long sleeves that are lightweight? Um, you know, long pants if you're going to be hiking. The, certainly those shoes that come up above your ankle. But even when dressed correctly, always check yourself after being outdoors because ticks are often unwanted hitchhikers. They will crawl up to the end of a blade of grass or out to the end of a low-hanging leaf or branch, uh, and they'll put out their front two legs, and they'll go dormant. If you just brush across the animal, its sticky legs will just grab onto you and carry the tick away. Health officials say that if you do get bit, closely monitor the area, and if you get any symptoms, go directly to the doctor. In Johnson City, Johnny Nordello, News 5, WCYB. According to the CDC, there are ways you can reduce your exposure to tick-borne illnesses like Lyme disease. When you come back indoors, check your clothing and your body for ticks after being outdoors under the arms specifically and behind the knees, in and around your ears and in your hair. Check around your waist and your stomach area. If you find a tick that has bitten you, here's what you should do next. Use clean, fine tip tweezers to grasp the tick as close to the skin surface as possible. Pull upward with steady, even pressure. Don't twist or jerk the tick or you can cause mouth parts to break off and remain in your skin. After removing the tick, clean the bite area and your hands with rubbing alcohol or soap and water.